Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at F1 2017 running on Intel UHD 620 graphics. Uh, this is with a Core i5 uh, 8250U processor, and we are running the game at 720p and the ultra low detail presets. These are the defaults that the game chooses for this configuration. Um, you could go lower on resolution, but I really wouldn't recommend it uh, since once you start dropping below sort of HD ready resolutions, it's really going to look quite poor. Um, but the game does offer quite a wide range of settings uh, on detail and bring it down to ultra low should give a playable experience on most systems. So we are running this uh, on the benchmark mode, which runs uh, 20 20 AI cars and gives us an onboard view with Sebastian Vettel here. And what we can see is frame rates. They actually average through this run about 30 frames per second. During the first few corners where you have a lot of cars close together, they do drop into sort of the mid 20s. Uh, this obviously isn't ideal. I mean, really, we'd like to see this sort of up around 60 frames per second to match the refresh rate of most panels. I generally say 30, you're going to call like an acceptable compromise. Um, once you start dipping into the mid 20s, it's going to start getting a little bit trickier to play. We can still see you have fairly smooth motion, um, but for a racing game, particularly one featuring F1 cars, which are fairly quick, um, you're not, you know, you're not really going to be playing this on a laptop with steering wheel and pedals anyway. But you're probably going to want some assistance on um, just to help with sort of inputs and keeping the car under control when frame rates aren't ideal. Um, as we go round the lap a bit more and some of the traffic starts to th spread out a bit and thin out, uh, frame rates do creep up, and you may find as you go through a race a bit further, if you're doing more than just a one lap test run, um, that frame rates might improve a little bit. It is going to depend a bit on the circuit you're playing on as well, um, weather conditions and things like that. So this may be a best case scenario, in which case if you're playing sort of wet weather races on one of these circuits like Singapore with um, night effects and a lot of light sources, it may really start to struggle on something like that. As I say, you could drop the resolution down to say 800 by 600, um, but then it's going to be looking quite blocky and quite poor. The full stats are displayed at the end of this video, uh, so do take a look at those if you would like, and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see us testing in the future, and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see those videos as they're posted. Thanks for watching.